That's about the drama, right? When will Tua check out for the afternoon? Bama's had five possessions, five touchdowns. And looking for more in the final three minutes of this first half. Comes out throwing. On the run. Pressure from behind. And that's where Nick Saban is thinking, where's Mac Jones? He's down. And Tua's down. His helmet came off. This is exactly what you did not want to see happen. And sometimes as a coach, you just got to listen to your gut. And I think Nick wanted to take him out. And Tua talked him back into it. And hopefully this isn't serious. We've seen this from a couple of times this season where he's gotten hurt because he's extending a play and then he gets tackled from behind. And the problem with that is you can't, you, you don't see it coming. And then they roll up on your lower legs, and that's how he got hurt initially this season in the Thank Tennessee game. Standing a few yards away from it. Looks like it might be his nose or his head. Something. Todd, we're something showing low. it again here, the replay. There's two players sort of collapse upon him. Yeah, and his head, his, his face mask hits the ground almost first. It's not his lower body. Well, that's, that's good news. And if it's just something. Yeah, they're putting on gloves. He's bleeding. Marquis Spencer and Leo Lewis. Just about the full weight of both of them. On Tunga Bailoa there. The helmet comes off. You see instantly in yep. pain. And the stadium, even on the road, has gone silent. Well, he's up and. Hopefully that's just a, a, a bloody nose. It looks like a bloody nose situation, exactly. you know. But uh, in a lot of pain, he was grabbing onto the trainer. Well, he's not. Whoa. He's not putting any weight on that right leg no. either. Right. If it's just a bloody nose, he's walking off in a hurry. Yeah. This is the site Nick Saban obviously did not want to see. And up 35-7, you know, the natural reaction is, well, why is he still out there? And you love Tungo Bailoa for wanting to play, for pleading his case. Nick's walking if over now. If, in fact, that was the conversation, one more series, let me go till halftime. And Saban's running onto the field now. There's Nick. And the cart is being rolled onto the field as well as we speak. Well, yeah, I think the point here is if, if it were just the, his nose, then he'd be walking off the field straight to the locker room. The fact that they're bringing this uh, cart out. He's, and he's putting no pressure yeah. on his right leg. Oh, my goodness. Mom and dad in attendance as they are at all the games. And this is the video that is now being watched coast to coast. And the decision to start him in the game and keep him in the game at 35 7 with some four minutes left in the first half that will be discussed, dissected, and argued. Certainly for this coming week, and maybe more beyond that. Go back and take a look to see if if we can see his ankle get rolled up. We obviously saw the helmet come off. We saw Talia, number five. That is to his younger brother. He's the third string quarterback for Alabama. And a nice ovation here from the Mississippi State crowd for Tua Tungabalone. 